Hello, hit recorders. This is Billy, aka Caldwell Creative LA. Um, I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to make this guy, Malvin 2.0. Um, Spun had asked me how I was doing the hair. She had just started uh, playing around in Blender. I think she downloaded it, which you all should do as well. Um, if you haven't downloaded it, please, uh, I highly recommend going to blender.org, downloading it. Uh, it works on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Uh, amazing, amazing stuff that it can do. Um, anyway, it not only is a 3D program, but also is a great compositor like After Effects, and can also be used as a video editor. So um, it's pretty great. Go check out the site. You'll be able to see it, download it, and then we'll be able to start working on it. Spun, uh, who is one of the curators of uh, the Morning Monsters project, that Marino Shu uh, has started is now in advanced development, um, and there's tons of characters coming in that are so cool. Some are so cute, and then some others have some great storylines that I think will be really cool. But um, when I first saw it, I, I thought 3D might be a great answer because you'd only have to basically build the character once, rig it once, and then animators can go at it. It's an easy file to share, um, and also people could download the program for free. So when it comes time to rendering, you could actually split that render time between multiple people uh, and then get something uh, done a little bit faster. Anyway, um, that aside, uh, let's just uh, get into it so I can kind of show you how to make a basic one. I'm not going to go fully into it. I'll do a really short tutorial on just basically how to make a, a quick kind of pseudo head and get some hair on it. Um, so you can kind of play around with that. Um, if people are interested, I can go in a little bit more detail. Maybe we'll do a, a full on tutorial on, on box modeling. Uh, this is just a quick box modeling tutorial just to kind of get you acquainted with Blender and maybe to play around with some ideas for Morning Monsters. Anyway, so uh, when you open up Blender for the first time, it's going to look like this. You're going to have a cube, a lamp, and a camera. I want you to hit uh, A probably twice to select everything. Uh, oh, actually, before I start, um, let me turn on my screencast keys. So over here, you'll see the keys I'm hitting and the... Uh, the mouse buttons that I'm using. Um, again, once you get in here, hit A, like I said, hit X uh, and click Delete. It's going to erase everything. We're going to start from scratch. Um, as you can see, this cursor got moved around. Why? Because I hit the left mouse button. Um, every other program uses a left mouse button to select things. Blender, for selecting objects in the 3D space, uses the right uh, button. This is actually where you're telling it to put the object. So if I click over here, it'll put the object over here, but tend to want to put it right there in the middle most of the time. So the way to get that cursor back um, is to hit Shift and C, and it'll automatically pop right back there. So now we're going to put our first piece, which is a cube, because we're going to kind of box model this guy really quick. Um, go under uh, Shift and A, and it'll pop up this menu. Click Mesh and Cube, and it pops that cube right there for us. Um, if you click on the tab button, it takes us into edit mode. In edit mode, uh, we're going to add uh, a thing called a subdivide smooth by clicking W, clicking subdivide smooth, and then over a number of cuts, uh, turn this up to three. This should give us enough to get started. Um, we're going to go into uh, front view by clicking one on the numpad, and then clicking five to go into orthographic view. Uh, this will give us a flat uh, view of everything um, so we can do some uh, modeling. Anyway, uh, click the A button again. It's going to deselect everything. And now we're going to click B, and that will give us our kind of like uh, selection tool. Click and drag over the vertices that you want to erase, which will be on the left. And I just noticed something. Oh, only half of them got selected. What happened? Well, um, that's a good question. And this is a, a good little tiptoes now. This button right here, uh, if you click that, that will allow you to see all the way through now to the other side. See how now I can see all the way through. Um, click on one again to go to front view. And now we're going to hit A to deselect, B uh, to select those same ones again. But this time you'll see everything has been selected that we need. Click one to go back in front view. Click X to delete the vertices. And that will give us half a piece. Um, over here to the right, click on... Uh, that's my dog. He's getting crazy. He likes to bark at me when I work on the computer. He gets angry that I'm not going to fetch with him. There he goes. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, 
let's get back into it. This is uh, the modifier button. Click on the wrench and you'll have some modifiers here that you can choose from. Uh, select mirror and that will create the other side of this. So anything I do on this side will affect this side. So if I right click this vertice and move it, you'll see it will move the other side exactly the same way. Uh, if you hit control Z, you can undo that. Um, over in the menu, click on clipping. This is really important because it'll keep everything together in the middle as you're modeling things. Um, also, what we want to do is kind of uh, smooth this out. But first, let, let's start doing a little bit of modeling. If you scroll in by scrolling the wheel, you can kind of zoom in that way. Um, we're going to start moving some vertices around. So this uh, vertice and this vertice, I want to move. Oh, let's turn off that button again because now we're still seeing all the way through. We don't want to do that now. Now we just want to work on just the front one. So uh, let's select this one. Shift click this one uh, and let's move those in. Uh, do the same here. Let's just move that one in. Let's just smooth it out a little bit. Uh, for this vertice and this vertice, let's bring them down and make the eye sockets a little bigger because this is where we're going to kind of put our eye placement. Um, if you hit Control Tab, it'll give you a menu that lets you select either vertices, edges, or faces. This is real helpful as you're modeling. Uh, get used to using that Control Tab to get to this. Uh, click on Face. Um, if you right click on the eye socket basically that we're going to use we're going to hit e for extrude and it normally would extrude out but what we want to do is right click one more time and it just pops it right in its own place basically um hit s to scale it we're going to scale it down just a little bit and then we're going to hit e again and this time we're going to push it back so um this will kind of be like okay that's where our eye is let's go back into vertices mode because i want to move this guy it's driving me nuts uh, down a little bit so it looks a little bit more uh, even here. Um, now we kind of got a basic eye kind of socket, I guess, for placement. And we'll be putting in eyes later on, but let's start off with just this. Uh, before we go any further, click the tab button to go into object mode. And then over on the left, you're going to see a smooth button. Click smooth. You can see it's really starting to smooth out a little bit. And what we're going to do is smooth it out even more. But in that same modifier menu, add a new modifier and that's called subdivision surface right here. So you click that and it's getting smoother. And under view, click it up to two at least. You can go to three. Um, it just slows things down a little bit. I, I tend to just leave it at two while I'm modeling. And then when I'm doing the rendering, I, I pump up everything. Um, but anyway, so this will give us a good way uh, to kind of start. You can already kind of see we're getting kind of a close to a little bit of a character anyway let's uh click e again and get back into edit mode and uh, we're going to move some vertices around let's uh, get over here um, what i also like to do if you click n you can get rid of this menu and if you click n again you can get it back this um you use this every now and then for this particular uh, lesson there's not much i'm going to use in this menu so i'm just going to turn that off um what i like to also do is have a front view and a side view so if you go up here See this little three line thing in the corner? If you click and drag that, you just drag it over and you have a new window. Um, this is one of the cool things about Blender. You're able to do that anywhere. So anytime you see one of that, you can drag it up, create a new window, do the same thing. It's very cool. So if I want another, it's not a good place to do it. Uh, if I want another window here, I just click it and I got another window. So um, anyway, uh, if you want to get rid of a window, same thing. You click the one above it and push down and you'll see a little arrow and it gets rid of the window. Um, just for you to know, so if you uh, want a certain setup, you can do that. Anyway, this one I want to turn into a side view. So if you click on three, this gives us our side view of it. So I have kind of a side view and I have a uh, front view. On this new side view, I want to turn off this menu because I already have that menu. So if you hit T, that'll get rid of it. If you hit T, it'll bring it back. So uh, T for the left menu and N for the right menu just so you know um okay so now let's move some more stuff around uh this we're gonna see one move down a little bit same with this let's move that down maybe a little bit or something move this down a little bit as well we're gonna try to kind of create this jaw area i think um Let's see, move this down a little bit as well. Okay, now we're getting kind of what we want. Okay, if you click this and click O, 
it will create an influence. So when I start to move things, you'll see this kind of circle of influence right there. Um, you can scroll the size of that, see how much it influences or how little it influences. Uh, this is just good for general uh, shaping of the character, and that's what I'm doing right now. So doing that on the side view, I want to kind of get this guy, this guy. Let's move all this stuff back. Let's move this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Let's move that all down. Same thing over here. Now we're kind of getting what I want. This bottom area, I definitely want to move up a little bit because we're going to put some legs on them really quick here at the end. Um, while we're in the side view over here, let's select this. I think we're going to kind of put the arms somewhere. Oh, I don't want to select everything. If you hit O one more time, it'll take that influence away. So now I'm only moving just those vertices. It's not going to influence anything else but those. So I want to definitely uh, move those over a little bit. We're going to move those down a little bit. Do the same over here. Those back. These two I think need to be down lower. Basically, we're just going to be moving some stuff around. You can also uh, get some uh, pictures. That's how I made uh, this guy. Is that um, Lottie had made uh, the side views and front views, and that's how I got him set up and I can go into another tutorial later on how I did that part. It's a little bit more uh, complicated, but I just wanted to get some basic ideas for you guys to kind of get started and have some fun. So um, anyway, hit uh, control tab again, uh, hit control tab again, let's go into faces over here. We're going to just do an extrude. So let's extrude this guy out and we're going to put two extrudes, one more extrude out. So that should give us enough kind of get started. I think I want to scale that down actually a little bit. Scale that down. Actually, let's go back to this and scale it down. And then just do another small extrude like there. So these are going to be his arms, basically. Um, and the reason we're putting them straight out is because later on, if you want to rig this guy, it makes it a lot easier to get the rig set up. So, um, so there's his arms. And then if you want to get a little tighter on the look on how it's connected, hit control R and allow you put another loop cut. As you can see, I'm getting, uh, oop, I want to just go one, put it right there and I just slide it on over to the edge. You can see it got a little tighter on, on how it's shaping that mesh over there. And that looks pretty good. All right. And then let's get, uh, some legs going. Um, Basically, let's go control tab. Let's get back to vertex. Uh, these, over, I think, right there. Let's move this, this over as well. Maybe move that down a little bit. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. Let's see. I gotta move this guy. Let's move this front one a little bit. You want to match them up pretty much with the arms as much as possible, I think, uh, to make it look correct. Um, and I think we're pretty good. So let's go into face mode again. Uh, we're hitting control tab, goes into face mode. We're going to just select this guy right here. And we're going to extrude once and one more. One more. That's good. That might even be too long of a leg, but yeah, what you... let's actually let's go back here. I'm going to bring this just up just and then extrude over time to get the feet. Uh, let's go back in one. Let's make sure we're rotating as much as possible straight. Over here, let's go over here. Let's rotate it back. Make sure it looks pretty good. It looks, looks pretty reasonable. Okay, so now we got a little body going here. Um, we're going to select this face right here, which is kind of his front. We're going to just sort of extrude that. On out. Um, move that up. Let's do one more extrude. Uh, pop that up. And what we'll do is do a scale. Oop. Scale. And get this feet up a little bit. So, you got basically like a little morning monster. <laughs> 
Okay, so we're just going to kind of start with here. I'll let you guys kind of go a little bit nuts. You kind of get the basic idea. You can move this around endlessly, basically. Um, if you want to put on a quick little mouth, uh, the easiest way to do that is just to select, uh, let's see, let's see, like one of these guys. Oh, I don't want that one. Definitely don't want that one. Uh, that's the one I want. Uh, if you hit a little, little bit of an extrude right here, you kind of, kind of put something out a little bit. Uh, push it. I tend to move it out a little bit farther. And then when you come on over here, click this one and this one. And what we're going to do is extrude those down. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me go um, scale that in just a little bit. The lip. And then we're going to scroll that down. All right. And so now, yeah, kind of like a little, uh, little morning monster guy. So that's your basic idea of what you're going to be doing. Um, we can tweak this out just a little bit more later on, but let's just go with this right now. Um, let's click tab, get out of edit mode. Right now he's looking pretty cool. Um, also, make sure that this is uh, at cycles render. Um, you might have opened it up and it might have been a blender runner. Make sure that you pop this to cycles render and I'll uh, be able to create a pretty good little right lighting rig right off the bat. So now that we're in object mode, we can just move the whole mesh now up. Let's move him up so that he's just kind of right on top of that green line. Um, let's hit S for scale. Let's scale him down a little bit. Bring him back down because we don't want him too big. And we want to kind of start seeing what he's going to be looking like. So now... Um, hit shift a make sure that cursor is in the middle if it's not hit shift c to get it in the middle like if it was over here hit shift c takes you right to the middle hit shift a add a plain mesh and then hit s we're going to scroll this guy out okay now this gives us basically our floor for us to see shadows and see what kind of is going on um what i'm going to show you really quick is just a quick little studio uh, lighting setup that is really easy to do and just makes things look really cool. Um, if you grab also these arrows by the, just with a left click actually, which is again weird, uh, you'll be able to kind of uh, do everything you need. Um, in Blender, remember right clicking selects objects. Uh, left clicking moves the 3D cursor around. And if you're selecting something in a menu, you still have to use a left click. So the only time you really use right click is just selecting objects or vertices in edit modes or uh, other you know tools. Most everything else is a left click, but just so you know that. Um, anyway, let's get that 3D cursor back. Shift C. Uh, we're going to hit this plane and then go into edit mode. Uh, hit A to deselect everything. Then we're going to hit Control Tab. Go to Edge. We're going to select this edge. Uh, go into Front View. And we're going to extrude straight up, okay? And this will kind of give us our backdrop. Now, when we go into 3D, you'll see, oh, there's a backdrop now. Um, we're going to select this edge and hit Control B, as in boy. Um, and what that does, it lets you uh, bevel. So, as you can see, it's beveling. And I want to kind of give steps to that. Now, roll your uh, scroll wheel, and you see, it starts to make a nice transition. When I was a skateboarder, this would have been awesome. I would have made ramps all day like this. Anyway, so uh, there you have it. Uh, click that when you're ready. Um, and then hit tab again. And now you're in object mode. But you see it's kind of chunky around there. Hit that same smooth button. And now it's all smooth out. So now you have this backdrop. Uh, what we need, again, is a light. Uh, to do the light, make sure your 3D cursor is in the middle. Hit shift A. Mesh plane. I know, weird. Um, move that plane up. Uh, I use this view usually for this part. Um, move it kind of in front of them, move it up, and then hit R for rotation, and you can rotate it, and then hit S for scale, and we're going to blow it really big, okay? So this is going to be our light source. Look at it like a big softbox. Um, if we click over here on uh, materials, again, make sure you're in cycles render. Uh, click the new. Uh, and under this uh, surface, make sure that you select emission. Uh, that means that we're going to give it light. Uh, I usually put it at like 15 or 20. I think let's just put it at 20 for right now. Um, this just gives us a basic white light. You can change the color of that light to anything you want. But I usually leave it just at white in the beginning uh, until I get to the final rendering parts. 
Um, we also need a camera now to see what's going on. So uh, hit Shift A, uh, click on camera. It's going to kind of pop right there in the middle. I just move it back and I move it up and kind of out of the way. And I'll tell you why. Um, we're going to quickly frame this guy really quick. Um, I usually hit five because that's really what it's going to look like. It's going to look like this. If you kind of put it in as a pose and hit Control, Alt, and Zero at the same time on the numpad, it will frame it. So he's framed right now, which is good. As you can see, the backdrop got a little screwy, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that right now. Um, if I just uh, control, I mean, uh, right click on the uh, backdrop plane over here, um, and then hit S for scale, and then X. It's gonna constrain it to just go sideways. So I just blow it out, and now if I hit zero, it shows me what I already framed for the picture. So yeah, that looks a little better. Um, we can already kind of give it a little test render and see what's going on. So if you hit F12, I'll kind of give you a quick little render and we'll see where we're at right now. Damn, put the samples up really high. Um, actually, let me let me stop that because it's going to take a while. I don't want you to wait too long. Uh, over here on the, uh, the, I don't know what you call this, the display menu, uh, if you scroll to the bottom where it says sampling, uh, I have it set to 128. Right now I'm just going to put it at 50 uh, just so we can kind of get a quick little render. And if you hit F12, that will give you a render. It's going to move a little bit faster now. There we go. Let that kind of render out. Um, again, uh, you know, Blender's pretty uh, crazy. We, we, the, uh, the things that you can do, you'll see the shadowing, how good it looks over here. And this is just with no materials even on yet. I think I got the emissions set a little bit high there, and we'll we'll be able to fix that here in a second. Um, but as you can see, it's it's really kind of coming through. Uh, let me put a color on him as well because now we can't even see what he's doing. And the best way to do that is just hit a new material over here, um, and then we're, we just put just a color for right now, just so we can kind of see him. Um, I already did Melvin. Uh, orange so let's put a blue character let's have a little blue guy over here I don't know what he, yeah, that looks good. so um let's see what that looks like material why is that not working hold on one second i think i just locked up my computer one second and there we go. Awesome. Ah, there we go. There's a little morning monster guy. Okay. Um, I click over here. I got it stuck here. Hold on a second. Let's see if we can get out of it. Maybe can I? There we go. Okay, so now we got him being blue, so it's a little bit easier to see. I put this, um, it, these are your different views that you can see. Um, the viewport shading I set to rendered, so this is kind of giving me a, a very rough draft of what it's kind of going to look like, so I can move around and see, you know, oh wow, I got kind of a little morning monster already, and he's kind of hanging out with us. Um, next up is hair, so um, we'll do the eyes last, and I probably will do a different video for the eyes, but let's just work on the hair right now, because I think that's really what the curiosity was here. So let's, um, hold on, let my computer catch up. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't like working with all that stuff at the same time, plus screen recording. But anyway, uh, let's do this now. Now let's go into edit mode. Um, and what we're going to do is create some vertex groups. And the way we do that is we want to get into face mode. And I'm going to start to hit C. C is kind of like a uh, magic wand tool, I guess. You can just kind of right click, I mean, sorry, left click over the pieces that you want. So I'm going to just look, just basically get almost everything except the eyes and the, the nose area. I tend to not do that. When you're selecting a left click to get it, right click to get out of that tool because it'll kind of get stuck sometimes. Um, let's do that again. Let's see, let's get these guys right here. I leave kind of the top of the mouth alone. Let's do this. Let's get these guys right click. Turn them backwards. It's getting closer. Shift and middle click to move them to the side. 
Uh, hit C again. Okay, let's see. We're almost there. Let's get all these guys all selected. And we'll get them selected as well. Right click, get out of it. And I think we're looking almost there. <laughs> uh, let's move that over. Let's see, let's get that one out of it. And I think that's pretty good for right now. I think that's pretty good. Um, let's go over here to this little triangle and to this very first area of vertex group. We're going to click that and we're going to double click the name. We'll name it here. Um, this is basically going to tell it where to put the hair. Um, and now let's put some hair on this guy. Let's uh, open up this menu a little bit right here, and we're going to click these stars. Uh, this is our particle system. Uh, click new, and we got a new particle system. We're going to name this hair as well. Um, change the emitter to hair. And as you can see, nothing happened. You're like, what the heck is going on? If you uh, click on tab, pandemonium. Oh. I know what happened. I forgot to get rid of the modifier still. So um, let's control Z out of all this still. System. Not just yet. Okay, let's. Uh, nice that one. Okay, we got rid of the particle system. Uh, go back over here to the modifier tab and on this mirror one let's just do apply for right now because I think what, what happened oh uh, tab out of edit mode uh, before you apply it won't let you apply it unless you're out of tab in object mode so make sure you're in object mode not edit mode hit apply um, and now we're good so now if we tap back in now everything's selected and all the way across and it's one single mesh now now everything's uh, editable across the board. Um, click back into this particle system. Make sure that this is selected. Hit add this vertex group. I'm sorry. Uh, click assign, and then do deselect, and then select test fit. Man, it works. Um, click on that particle. We're going to add that particle system again. Uh, name it hair. Go to hair, um, and then hit tab again to go to object. Oh my God! There's it's everywhere. Uh, that's not going to work. It's too crazy. So we got to get the length down. Let's, uh, this is the first thing we're going to change. Let's get this length way, 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 way down. So I'm um, thinking, oh, let's maybe get the start. Um, problem is it's everywhere. It's going to those eyes, everything. So let's scroll down and go to vertex groups. And it's very first one, density, select here. And now it's just putting it where we wanted it, kind of basically to be put originally. Also, uh, let's do, um, uh, okay, let's go over here. Hair length, let's leave kind of like right around there. A uh, number of hairs, that looks fine. Leave it a path. Um, let's see what else we need here. Display. Uh, steps put, I usually put this at six. And also in display, I put this as six, the steps. Um, just gives it a little bit more um, looseness, I guess, to it. This is the most important uh, field is children. Uh, right now, you can see there's just a couple of hairs there. It's not looking very good. If you hit simple, it kind of gets a little bit hairier, but it's all kind of funky. It kind of gets weird in some areas. Interpolated is the one you want. Uh, it's looking pretty good already. Um, and that's going to let you kind of do things. Under render, I usually set this down to 25 just to like not bog the computer down like crazy. Um, and I think from there, I think we're good, good, good. Um, let's see, I think, I think we're kind of good right there. Um, if you click on rendered, let's see where we're at. Yeah, it's kind of working on it real quick. Take a second. That's one more to work with, and yeah, he's that's our little area guy right there. There he is. He's looking kind of funky. There we go. He got some hair. So uh, we gotta make it a little thicker, I think. I think the hair is not looking as thick as it will. So let's go back to solid. And where did I put that at? Be a 
Weights, weights, weights. No, that's not where it's at. There we go. Uh, so the tip I'm going to put at a point zero zero one, and I'm going to put this. So now if I try it again, let's see how that's looking now. Okay, it's much further now. Okay, now it's getting a little bit too furry. And it's too thick. Okay, so now let's go back to that. So the tip. Tip is looking pretty good. I'm gonna do a point zero 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 one. And then the root, I'm going to do, I think, 0.1. Okay, we're kind of getting there. Um... Let's comb him out a little bit. So now that we got this kind of guy set up here, this is the fun part. Okay, so now if you go into the, to this, uh, I think there's a particle edit right here. Let's click on particle edit. And let's see, let's click this button that says children. It'll let us see the children basically. So we can kind of mess around with this a little bit more. Let's get this back to song. It's slowing down the computer way too much. Um, okay, so now we got this. Uh, if you click on comb, you can just do exactly that. You start brushing this guy's hair. So this is kind of how you start to shape his hair. Um, if you're a hairstylist, you're going to jam at this because uh, I think this was the biggest learning curve was learning how to kind of control it a little bit more and make it look correct. Uh, and you're just left clicking and just swiping your mouse around. If you have a Wacom tablet, this would probably also make it a little bit easier. I'm going to go in the front view. Let's get this guy kind of combed out real nice. He's looking better. I don't want his hair to go up. Oh, I don't want to get that, like, kind of that pompadour look, you know, that I like. Um, and the way I'm going to do that is uh, over here you hit Add. And uh, actually, I'm sorry, length. And we're going to just kind of brush up the length. And that's how you kind of start getting those, those pieces that you want to kind of come out a little bit more. It's a little time consuming, but um, you can really get some pretty cool results from this. Uh, so let's keep on playing around with it. Anyway, so I'll pop it a little bit as well. Um, I want to cut some stuff. See this on the mouth here? I want to cut all that away. So click on the cut part and I just kind of swipe over it as much as I can. I don't want it really on this area. Make things real difficult later on. Anyway, so um, let's hit F12 one more time and see what we're at. Oh, and why did that happen? Oh, escape. Okay, we gotta make sure we are in object mode to lock that stuff in. Let's hit F12 again. Let's give it a second, it's kind of working out its stuff. But um, I'm gonna let this uh, go ahead and render and then uh, we'll come back and finish it all up. Um, basically, this is how we're gonna end it right here on this first part of the tutorial. This kind of give you a basic idea of what you got to do. Um, and you can kind of play around from here. I'm going to try to make another tutorial. We'll show you how to make the eyes as well. Um, and then maybe even start putting the rig together and how to do some little bit of facial animation with shape keys. But anyway, I hope this helped out. 
Um, if you have any questions, throw them down below. I'll try to answer them as best I can. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see some morning monsters in 3D. That'd be kind of cool. Anyway, over and out.